This video is rated TV 16, has some harsh language which may not be appropriate for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Heavy Metal Explosion coming at you with another figure review and this here is the Target exclusive 3-pack Rainmakers. Um, I uh, just picked these guys up. The store that I went to only had one set in stock and I'm like wow. So um, I just, I'm not going to go in real depth on this, but I am going to show out some similarities with all of these Seekers um, in order to um, kind of show off, I guess, the Tampo style paint, which is here, um, that's, which is indicative of the um, battle damage. Um, let me see if I can sh shine a little light on this matter. Um, so, um, just, just one piece, uh, this is the little insert and it's big. It's, um, it's a, it's a nice decorative piece if, you know, you so choose or if you have any place to put it like that I'm putting it inside my photo booth um, I'm gonna be taking some pictures and putting it up on the PX store on Facebook and um, maybe showing some pictures off on Twitter and um, so um, basically you have the white paint right here You have a gunmetal. The face is painted silver and it does have the translucent eyes. Um, the engine pack is like a gray. There's some gray here. There is a Decepticon signia there. Um, same as over here. On the back side, we have all of that, and you have some logos here, and this paint splatter. Now, I mentioned that in the um, Red Wing video that these are the exact same paint spatter that you get with Starscream. That you get with Red Wing, you're going to get them with um, 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 Thundercracker, and you're going to get them exact same with Skywarp. Um, so it doesn't bother me. It gives it a little bit of a flair to these because these are all one color basically so they need a little more sprucing up I think um, uh, but they all look well I mean um, there's nothing I guess ugly about them they're just all one color and I know what they did they, they wanted to mimic the way they look in that episode when they were there um and um when they showed showed them on screen and that's fine i mean i um i wanted to get me a sunstorm i've got the seeker uh deluxe acid storm so i mean really i wanted to get my hands on the um 
the Rainmakers. Um, way back when they had the uh, um, the uh, what is it, the F-15 um, seeker molds, and um, but all I did, all I wound up purchasing was the um, three that came to mass retail, plus the acid storm from there um so again um everything's the same the um chest piece it looks like it's kind of tight but as you see when i wiggle this this kind of popped loose a little bit so um on some of the figures it's probably works well on others my red wing it wasn't really all that great either um and of course the star scream just fell right slam out uh so i may be doing the whole um making a pin through those um but if you look at them and i don't know if this is typical but this hinge is bent. Now, I don't know if maybe that's because of the heat doing, you know, through transit or what have you. But it kind of throws the figure silhouette when you're looking at it head on. Or when you're looking at it kind of like this. It looks like this isn't pushed all the way back. And this is bent ungodly. I mean, you can see that. And it's like that even on my Red Wing. And I didn't notice that until just now. Um, the other fact is that this is still pretty loose. So that means this hole here, whatever you do, whether it's uh, floor polish, um, 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 super glue or something like that you're gonna wind up having to um, you know thicken that hole up um, do not thicken this peg up this peg fits very snug in that port these ports here on the elbow they fit very snug um, so it's just in these ports on the shoulder right there these are the ones that needs to be thickened up it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to thicken these hinge dimples out get those thickened up now again um, you see this has a pretty straightforward face it's on a frown so <laughs> I mean it's pretty um um generic seeker esque um so um again see this it's exactly the same paint scheme you know this is basically ran through um after molding it's put on the seeker line the Tetra jet line and it's sent through the paint scheme where these are painted that's painted and etc etc so nothing's any different um I mean like I said to me this looks good for these because they need a little more um um i guess paint apps in order to make them a little more non i don't know all one color maybe is what i'm trying to say um and of course the brightest of the bunch and here is the sunstorm and i don't know all of their names um the um Let's see.
So really the only one I don't know, and I'm looking at the instructions here, is that's Acid Storm. Um, I'm guessing this is Nova Storm, and that's probably Ion Storm. What I'm guessing, but I don't know <laughs> because I didn't um, take them out and look at their names when they're on the boxes, but I'll have to, I guess, when I do some photo ops, I'll maybe uh, do their names underneath each other. And just to throw this guy in here, kind of show off him with that. And uh, obviously my photo booth is getting a little bit um, small here. It's not meant for characters so big in, 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 in this amount. Um, so, but again, we'll go ahead and, uh, just do some comparisons here and, um, so hang tight and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back and let's, uh, start out something with some of your I guess local heroes. <laughs> um, we do a uh, let's do a little blue, and how about? Obviously, it's the deluxes. Here's the legends. Um, we'll do, let's see, let's put him up. bring out this guy bring in his mini me um, let's bring in another Voyager combine wars and this is something that I really really wanted to nail home nail home so to speak is that the size difference now um, what we've got here is combiner wars voyager class with the newer voyager model now i don't have my um uh, classics optimus but I kind of want to um, feel as though is that they're reducing the size due to um, added articulation and added sculpting. Because as you can see here on Cyclonus, the art, um, um, sculpting isn't as widespread. It is good. But it isn't as widespread as here. I mean, there's like all kinds of panel lining. And um, when you bring in the classics and you look at the classics, the classics is also reduced with their panel lining. I mean, they've got a lot. And there is a bunch here. But it's not as um, abundant as on these new um, um, molds with the uh, siege line. So um, I'll just go through a couple more uh, figures that I have out. 
but it's um, a blessing and maybe not such a blessing. Here's your Golden Lagoon star screen. Um, pull him out and go ahead and get one of the ones that I have been dying to get my hands on, like I said, for years. And just, I haven't even been able to get my hands on the KO version of this guy. And it's something I really wanted to do is just have that guy in the seeker mold and um, the classic seeker mold. And obviously we got reveal the shield um, Cyclonus, which I mean, realistically, he is just a tad short. He, he's almost a Voyager class himself. And just this guy alone. Um, I got a couple more I want to, or at least one more. Again, this is my go to generic um, Combiner Wars Seeker. And. Again, I, I would love to have these guys, all of these guys, Red Wing, um, um, Ion, Sunstorm, Acid Storm, Acid Rain, Acid, um, Acid Starscream, <laughs> but Starscream, um, 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 Thundercracker, Skywarp, all of these, not just in this mode, but I would like them to be something like this, you know, give us those typical Seeker combiners that, you know, we can um, look forward to, um, that we can put with that um, god-awful Starscream and, you know, make a complete seeker combiner i think everybody has been wanting that since you know combiner wars anything probably even before combiner wars i've been thinking about that the way before combiner wars um i just thought it would be neat to have something like that it's a good update the tolerances are by far better than the classic seekers um but that's still off subject. You know, the bottom line is, is that these here are really good figures. And um, I dare say that um, Starscream might be in charge of the uh, classic Seekers, Thundercracker, Skywarp. But my new boss here of the Rainmakers is going to be Red Wing. <laughs> and those, that's going to be mine. So with that being said, guys, um, if you can find this set, pick them up. Um, if I could afford to get me another set, I would. And, but... Well, again, this is a great set to get. Um, they're just starting to hit over here in the East Coast, at least where I'm at. Um, so, um, keep your eyes open and um, check with your local targets. And until next time.